Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And this video series, we're going to be exploring each of the planets in our solar system. We're going to be discovering what it would be like to discover our gravity, our weights, on each one of the planet's surfaces. So, to do that, I encourage you to grab your pen or pencil, your lab journal, and come along with me and we're going to discover facts about each planet and do a little math along the way. So, let's go exploring. We are now off to explore the king of the planets, Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest of the planets inside of our solar system. It's considered a gas giant. Uh, 1,300 Earths could fit inside Jupiter. That's how large Jupiter is is being the king of the planets. It also has a raging storm, the giant red spot there that has been going on for about 350 years. Jupiter and the four largest moons were first discovered and seen or observed with the use of a tool we call a telescope in 1610 by the astronomer and scientist Galileo. And with the composition of Jupiter, it is made mostly of hydrogen and helium. So it is an absolutely beautiful planet that is very bright. You too can see this outside depending on the time of year. But it is a wonderful planet, king of the planet. And since it is larger, with science, the larger the planet, the more weight and pull of gravity that will have upon your mass. So let's calculate what we would weigh on the surface of Jupiter. So the mass that we calculated earlier equals out to be 100 and the surface gravity of Jupiter is 2.36, the largest pull and force of surface gravity of all the planets in our solar system. So, calculating for weight, x equals 100 times 2.36. Move that decimal over. So your weight would be 236 pounds or newtons. So if you weigh 100 pounds or newtons on the Earth, it would almost triple it being on the surface of Jupiter. Now, that plays into part with sending crafts into Jupiter. NASA has sent things into Jupiter, and the force of gravity and surface pressure inside of Jupiter can crush items because of that surface gravity. So it's a very powerful king planet, very powerful force of gravity, increasing our weight almost three times. We are now off to explore our next largest planet in our solar system, our next gas giant, Saturn, which happens to be my favorite planet within the entire solar system. Saturn's most unique feature happens to be its ring system. Other planets in our solar system happen to have rings as well, but the largest and the most unique of structure has to go to Saturn. Uh, the composition of Saturn is mostly gases, uh, but its gas structure is very not very dense, not as dense as Jupiter's or the pull of gravity isn't as great on Saturn because of that gaseous structure, making the surface, the surface gravity of Saturn almost equal to Earth, 0.92. Uh, it has the most moons based on a current find of 20 extra moons uh, recently in current event science it tops out at 82 moons in total, making it the planet with the most moons in the entire solar system. And if you happen to have a larger body of water, it would have to be quite a large one in order to put Saturn on top of. The composition of Saturn, if you placed it in a large pool of water, it would float based on its gaseous structure. So let's see what 
and how much we would weigh if we visited the surface of Saturn. So doing the calculations, finding our mass, we have concluded we would, that number being 100, so we are solving for weight and surface gravity on Saturn is 0 0.92. So we have solving for weight, x equals 100 times 0 0.92. I'm gonna move that decimal. So on the surface of Saturn, we would weigh 92 Newtons or pounds. And remember, no matter how far you explore, no matter how much you discover, know that you are important and that no matter where you are at whatever time science never stops